How about you YouTube? Back with the Service Tech again. Uh, today I am doing another video entry for a giveaway. Um, it's for Spectacular Spider Grandpa's End of Summer Heat Wave Contest. Now, I've been subscribed to uh, Spectacular Spider Grandpa for a little bit now and I don't know what happened. I completely forgot all about this giveaway. Um, I had every intention on doing it when I first saw it posted and just never, I, like I said, I, I got sidetracked and completely forgot all about it. Um, so I do apologize for that. But here I am now making the video and Again, um, like I said, this is for Spectacular Spider Grandpa. I'm going to put his uh, page in the description. And we'll just jump right into this. Um, he's uh, He posted a video today, I think, maybe yesterday, uh, showing off a little bit about what he's going to put in the box. <sighs> oh, excuse me. Sorry, guys. I just got off work uh, a little bit ago. Haven't been to bed yet. Uh, I'm getting pretty tired. I think this is my third video uh, this morning that I'm posting. I'll probably be my last one. I need to get some sleep for work tonight. So, anyways, but you got to make a video. You got to subscribe to him, and you got to subscribe to Blast It or Stash It. Um, it's kind of like a podcast mashup of a whole bunch of. Uh, like-minded comic book fans so they put out some pretty good videos and um, yeah definitely check him out so without further ado we'll get on to the questions at the giveaway and it's not really a question well the first one is the second one's uh, we'll, we'll get to that so number one says What's one comic book or Funko Pop you've received this summer that you can that you will never get rid of? Um, considering how I just recently started doing my collection, um, because my collection was originally towards figures and uh, comics, I've just now started collecting other stuff, uh, mostly with the subscription boxes and some other stuff I've bought online. So I've got a whole bunch of pops that I don't plan on getting rid of. Um, a lot of Jokers. Uh, my Spider Gwen. I uh, just recently picked up a Mega Man. Um, got a couple horror pops. Pinhead. Uh, Chucky. Reagan from The Exorcist. Um, Swamp Thing. Uh, I've got quite a few. Um, I got one of the big old dragons from Game of Thrones. Even though I haven't watched Game of Thrones yet, I do intend to. But I'd have to say my favorite is one that brings back um, a lot of memories from my childhood. Um, I used to be obsessed with uh, this show, um, definitely the original, and I loved the movie when it came out. But that would be the Power Rangers. Um, Tommy, the Green Ranger originally, becomes the White Ranger. We obviously know the story about white range of pops um, if I could ever get my hand on one I would love to but I don't see me spending excess of 160 bucks on a pop but if I could ever find one for a decent price I'd jump on it just because the white ranger is my favorite ranger next to the green ranger but they're both Tommy so still cool um, I love the fact that he originally started off as a villain and then became a good guy and this pop is just really good really well done looks great the only damage is this big old crease right here in the plastic but still I probably won't ever get rid of it um, even if I did get a pop that was in a better condition box I would probably still keep this one and have this one displayed out of box um, I don't know. I'm kind of weird like that. I get uh, attached to things that I shouldn't get attached to. I mean, it's just collector for you, I guess. But 
So that would be my number one pop that I have. Um, it's definitely in close running with my Mega Man pop that I recently just picked up uh, a couple of days ago. Um, and that just goes back to my childhood. These are things that uh, just things that I've dealt with, you know, since I was a kid and stuff. So, you know, it's one of those things that hit home. I saw that and I was. I instantly, I was like, oh shit, there's a Mega Man, so I just had to scoop it up. But, yeah, so, I would definitely say the Green Ranger first, and then Mega Man second, so. There's that. Um, as far as comics go, I can't dig it out right now, because it's behind a whole bunch of stuff, and I've got stuff stacked on top of it, but I've got a... What is that, a six inch binder that's overflowed with comics and I'd say 60 maybe 70 percent of them were bought throughout this summer uh, no probably not that high probably 40 probably 40 percent of those were bought out of this summer and they're all Gambit comics um, and anytime I see a Gambit comic I pick one up or I pick it up if it's not a duplicate although I've been debating on picking up some duplicates and doing an art project kind of like a collage with uh, something on top of it so I don't know maybe I need to grab some more comics and even go shopping but uh, no um yeah and I don't see me ever getting rid of any of my Gambit comics so and then the second one, he wants us to do a shout out. And he wants us to shout out somebody that we've really gotten to know over the summer from YouTube. And I really haven't gotten to the to the personal level. Um, there's quite a few people that um, I'm subscribed to that we constantly comment on each other's um, pages and stuff. So I'd say that's probably the closest that I've gotten to anybody. And the the three that come to mind right off the get-go is uh, Airborne Sapper, uh, Louis Jewel, and uh, Guru Media Productions, Scott over there. Um, those three guys, they, they comment on my stuff all the time. And we chit-chat back and forth. So um, I, I know i got a lot in common. Um, especially with uh, Louis Jewel, um, we kind of have a lot of the same interests. So those would be the uh, the three biggest ones. Um, I'll go ahead and link their uh, channels in the description also. Uh, so I mean, that's what shout outs are for. You know, kind of spread spread the word around about people. So now I'm just kind of rambling. Cause I'm tired <laughs> so I keep losing train of thoughts but anyways that's my entry for the spectacular spider grandpa end of wave uh, or end of summer heat wave contest um, he said he's ending it October 1st so don't be like me don't procrastinate and forget and then run out of time so enter now um, I'll put a link to his page in the description and then I'll put a link to my shoutouts in the description also. Again, those were Airborne Sapper, Comic Fan, uh, Louis Jewel, and uh, Guru Media Productions, um, Scott over there. Um, so, again, as always, stay geeky.